This is Edge Online Classes. Today we're gonna to be taking you guys through some turns. So we're gonna take you through some preps, I'm gonna give you some pointers, and then I'm gonna give you some progressions you can try at home to some music. Enjoy, keep watching. Right, so when taking our prep, Cam's gonna take the tondu out to the side. That's it, you can see her legs are straight, her arms are in line with her shoulders. When she steps back into her next prep position, she's gonna tuck through the hips, Peel her back heel off the floor, take a deep bend. As she goes up into her hold, she's gonna pull up in her supporting knee and her arms are gonna come in nice and tight up into Retire in parallel position. So her knee's pointing to the front and then she comes down. She's keeping her hands in line with her chest and she's making sure, if you wanna face the side for me, that her arms aren't too far forward so that her body doesn't go forward and not too far back so that her body goes back. The arms control the body, so you want to find that middle point when you hold up. If you watch again, maybe you want to face in the side. She goes out, she bends and taps, she whips up, hold, lower. Good. Those arms are going to give you a whip, and of course, make sure you're spotting yourself. If you have a mirror, spot yourself in the mirror, or if there's an object on the wall, try and spot something directly in front of you. Let's try it with the music. for some multiple turns. I'm going to take you through our four-day preparation now. I know a lot of you at home are wanting to try these, so this is our exercises that we do in class to get our four days looking really good. So we're going to start in fifth position because four days are a ballet turn. We're going to lift up, pull up into our retire position. Check that your knee is out to the side, your hips are tucked under, and your heel is forward. From here, we extend our arm and our leg towards the front, keeping that heel lifted. Try to avoid rolling in, try to keep that turn out the whole time and make sure your legs are at a 90 degree angle. From here we open out to the side and we pull into our retire. To repeat again, we go out, extend, keep the legs slightly in front of the hip and then we pull up into our retire position. So essentially when this leg is bent, this one's straight and then when this one folds in, your supporting leg extends up onto a rise and that's how we get the coordination of our open flow. So Cam's going to show you the exercise that we usually do. We basically repeat that through so you've got eight. So we pull up, forward, out and in. Forward, out and in. She rises up every time she comes in and she's keeping her leg at a 90 degree angle and using those arms so that when she's in the centre she can whip them to get around. She's going to do eight on one side and then you repeat to eight on the other side. Um, for four days in second, we're going to take an extension out to our 90 degree angle and if you want to lift up cam, she's going to plie through the bottom leg and lift up. Holding that leg right up there to really work the muscles. She's going to do eight on one leg and eight on the other leg. Now with our turns, so feel free to follow along with some of these exercises. 
Jete coupe chasse, thank you for it. Okay. 
jumping combination that you will be able to do probably in your driveway. You might need a little bit of space for this. I will talk to you about another option if you've got very small space. But here is how it goes. Preparing this way, we go chasse step, axle chasse step, axle step, prepare chasse step, axle chasse step, axle step, prepare. Chasse, coupe, jete, coupe, jete. Step, prepare. Chasse, coupe, jete, jete. Step, prepare. But, but, uh, step, second, second. Ball change. Da, da, step, second, second. Ball change. Cartwheel. 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 Thank you. 